What's up guys, Jake Slee's my Blue Collar Outdoors. Today, Moose is right there. We're gonna, we don't know what the weather's gonna hold. His radar says no rain till 11. Mine says it could rain any second, and it looks that way. Uh, and then heavy storm at 11. But we got the blind set up, just in case. I got the decoys out, but we have full cam on, so if something goes, we might move. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Alright, so today we have the SX decoys. You may or may not have seen the unboxing of them uh, by the time of this video, but they're fully flocked, which is different, and they have a ton of motion to them. So I have the Jake out, the hen, then I have the lead hen and upright hen from DSD. So my thinking was, if it's going to downpour or rain, I'm going to sit in the blind and be able to see where all three access points, where these birds come out and where they like to be. So if they're quiet, I should be able to see them and then call to them. So, or they may just work right into the decoys, who knows. But we'll see. It's getting to be about that time I'm going to start gobble maybe so stay tuned hopefully well if you're seeing this odds are something happened stay tuned He didn't like you. He's like, hold on. He's downwind though. Well, Lewis had to get, go to work. We got a big old storm coming in. We've seen three coyotes and one hen. I heard another hen, but she never showed, but I'm gonna go out. I moved to the middle of the blind. I have the Beretta today. So I'm trying to sit in the middle because it, it's gonna rain, so. I can hear the thunder right now. It's gonna rain. So, I got the bread in the middle. I'm gonna get out real quick, move these decoys, and uh, see so you can see them right now. I'm gonna move the Jake over a touch, bring that upright hen over, and then the SX decoy hen, which is right over here, over to this side, so we can just focus this way. That way if something comes in, I can get it on camera. I have the shot cam on. I haven't turned it on yet, so I'm saving that battery, but we'll see. It's only like seven. This first storm's supposed to hit at eight and then it's supposed to clear up, so we'll see. I'm gonna run out there and move them real quick. There we go, that's much better. Because good odds, they're gonna wanna work to that Jake. But even if they go to any of the hens, I'm not. Oh, yeah, it's got a storm. I'm not in the way of the blind for anything. Also, the reason why I picked this spot of the field, these birds love walking this line, this road up through here. And they also like walking the road that comes to it, but. How I got the decoys out is this way. They can be seen if a turkey's coming in behind me. Quiet, because it's downpouring. They're gonna see them. I'm just gonna soft call. I'm just using the old aluminum over slate waterproof call. 
just gonna do this every once in a while. I'm just gonna call and I got my decoys for max visibility from all, every field every angle so I'm just realistically um, banking on the decoys pulling the birds in and having three hens with a Jake it could do the job so we'll see what happens stay tuned Sounds like it's gonna absolutely piss poor. Not the day to bring the Beretta for the first time, but. <laughs> well, I'm sitting in the center, so I should keep it dry, but. We'll see, stay tuned. This isn't exactly the spring thunder I was after, but that's what we're going to get. We'll see what happens. I've killed them in storms before, so we'll see. <laughs> I shouldn't have brought the bread of the day. But well, stay tuned. Yeah, so pretty much just gotta make it through this one storm. It's gonna be a doozy though. Then after that, should be clean sailing till till noon, so. But she's I'll tell you what, she's lighting the sky up, that's for sure. See if we can't get you some of this. Oh boy. We'll see what happens. I know one thing. The wind has got not only my blind movement, but it's got those SX decoys just a swinging. So I should help pull them in if there's any turkeys. See my breath. It was literally 80 yesterday. A storm came through and just killed the temps. That was the first time I've seen, first turkey I've seen since this morning. Storm's starting to let up a little bit. Might get lucky. Oh, she was coming up the road. Just wish she had a boyfriend with her, but she didn't. It's just that lone hen. I think it's the first one we saw this, this morning, so.
juicy, the time where just more turkeys to better me. I just like being that close to birds without them knowing them. Two behind me. This one just came through, but still no redheads. We're in the right spot, though. I mean, birds are definitely working through this area. One of these times, there's going to be a time. Still got some time sitting at right now. It's 10:30. Birds are calling extremely quiet, even even when the hens are in. I mean, they they're hard to hear. A lot of hens. Finally saw a redhead. He was behind. I was just kind of peeking through the back, see if anything was working in the field behind me. That was a big bird. He was going. Yeah, I was away. At one point, he turned. He started coming this way. So all I've been doing is just soft calling here and there, and then. When it was raining hard, I called a little louder, but not much. Just kind of working with the slate and my mouth call, and just kind of working back and forth. But it just finally quit raining, and it's time to pack up. So I'm going to leave the camera, the gun, and everything in here. Go get the truck, drive back here. Get all this, because it's supposed to start raining again pretty good. Got about a 30 minute window, so. It was a good hunt though, learned a lot. Those hens really like to work this middle. They like walking the, the road in, so. We can we can use this, this hunt, build on it. We're learning this property slowly. We may have hunted this property about three years we've leased it, maybe 10 times total for turkeys. We've been in them all last year. Almost killed a bird every time, but this year it's been really hard because they ain't talking. So hunts like this where you can see where the hens want to go. You can see where they want to be, where they want to work on their own with no calling. That is beneficial. You can take that information and start building a game plan around it. So I thought this is where we'd want to be this morning. And it was just the hens that came in didn't have boyfriends, that's all. And the one that did, he was by himself. He was working that way. And I was trying to soft call to him, but I doubt he was even hearing me because it was raining pretty good. But he did look this way, but one of the hens went that way, so good odds she's in that field and he went over to her, but never know. This is not a failure. This was a good hunt, a lot of information gained. You can call to these hens and work them in too. We learned that. So, it was a good hunt. I got to see birds all around me. Would have been nice to put a tom down or see some jakes or something or hear gobbles, but we were in them. Just a quiet morning, so they can't light up the sky every time. We all wish they would, but in my opinion, the hunts like this really really nailed down how awesome turkey hunting is and what I mean by that is when they are lighting the sky up when they're just going off I mean you you realize how special of a day that is and when you can punch a tag man that's icing on the cake but to me it ain't about killing I just like being out here working birds learning getting better every time that's what I care about so We'll see. I'm going to go grab the truck, pick all this up. I wish it would have stopped raining at like 9, 30, 10 so we could try to get on one, but learned a lot. That's all that matters. But guys, I hope your season's going good. Drop a comment below. Let us know if it's been really quiet on your end. We're hearing it from a lot of people all over the U.S. that it is extremely quiet. And it's been a pretty hard season, but 
we've been very fortunate. We've put three birds down in two states, so we can't complain. We still got a lot of time left. So, but guys, smash thumbs up button for your boys. Hope you guys are having a good day. This definitely beats being at work, <laughs> even though they didn't gobble. Subscribe, stay a while. Check out the rest of the channel. Not just the turkey pattern series, the broadhead death series, all our hunts, our whitetail hunts, whatever you want, it's there. Check it all out. Always drop your comments, let us know what you thought. This is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. We'll catch you on another one.